Good morning from day two of our Disney Wish adventure. We are pulling up to Nassau right now. Oh yeah. Uh, but first, Oh, how was your sleep? Amazing. Like I, I slept harder than I have ever slept in my life. I slept so good. So in our last cruise series, we stayed in concierge and we stayed in a suite and that bed was very comfortable, like very comfortable. But this bed I feel like is just as comfortable. I slept better in this bed. Did you? Yeah. And the comforter is like so soft. I really felt like I was at home. Yeah. I slept so good and Jackson slept really well. It was a great night. It was a really good night. Then we woke up and we just got the, um, the continental breakfast delivered to the room and that was amazing like just having the food in the room right. was so great nice and easy so now we're gonna go to the open house for the mickey captain mickey and minnie's playground i'd have to look at it again it has, okay. a, it has a special name we're going down there right now and we'll show you exactly what it is yeah it's right next to it's a small world nursery mm -hmm. down on deck three and we're headed over to the oceaneers club open house and they're gonna let us go down the slide i think that'll be very exciting Yes. All right, so we're headed down to uh, the Oceaneers Club, and I have to go through this slide here. Let's go. Here I go, buddy. Whoa! Oh, that's kind of a fast slide. Oh, no. I'm stuck at the bottom. Hold on. Okay. Here he comes. Let's see if he comes shooting out. <laughs> he goes, wee. <laughs> Did you like it? All right, we have to wash our hands now, buddy. Stick them in here. Oh, here comes mommy too. Or is mommy gonna come down the stairs? Oh, here comes mommy. Thank you. Whoa, mommy came quick. All right, do you remember how to do it, buddy? All right, stick both hands inside. Remember, it's gonna spray water and spin. Go ahead, all the way in. Yeah, you gotta stick your hands all the way in. There it goes. I love these automatic hand washers, they're amazing. I'm gonna do both my hands, but oh, can you only do, you have to do both hands? Oh, yeah, it just automatically washes your hands. Sprays water and soap, cleaning all the little crevices. It's nice and warm, too. Wait, wait, let me try it a little bit more, okay? Yeah, wash cycle complete. So we're in the Oceaneer Club. I like this, it's kind of showing off the different levels of animation, and they're actually animating right here. But we are going down here towards, oh, this is Walt Disney Imagineering Lab too? What is this? This is Fairy Tale Hall? Okay, lots of stuff to see. Whoa! All right, well, that's cool. We're gonna have to do some more looking around for sure. Mickey and Minnie's Captain Deck is specifically made for Jackson size. Right now, Oh, we don't have a band to tap. Oh, you guys gonna ride Big Thunder Mountain? Yeah! Ooh! Oh, hang on to your hats and glasses! Whoa! Look at you riding a roller coaster, Jackson! Riding that roller coaster, buddy? Oh no, picking up speed now. Whoa, going up the lift hill, buddy. Oh, what was that? A coyote. Oh, Whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh look, there's another hill! There's another hill! Whoa! 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 Oh, we're turning! Here we go! Oh, there's a turn! Whoa, pick it up speed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness, buddy. Whew. It's a good thing we held on to our hats and glasses. That was the wildest ride in the wilderness. All right, so Mickey and Minnie's Captain Deck is the first space on any Disney cruise ship that is specifically made for toddlers. 
So this is where we're headed into. There's little tables in here. All of the characters are up on the wall. Little like areas for people to crawl through. Look. Look in here. Look right here, buddy. Oh, he's like, oh, here's a slide. Oh, it's a little baby slide. I think this is a little bit too young for him. Yeah, it's a little bit small for him. Look at this. Wee. <laughs> What's in there, buddy? Oh yeah, what is that? Spin the nail. Spin the, spin are the. Are in there? Oh, Chip and Dale are in there. Whoa, look at this, Jackson. Jackson, look what mommy's doing. Look at that, buddy. Oh, you're, oh, you're making too. it up there. Look, you're making oh, bubbles wow. up above. <laughs> Whoa. This is kind of fun. There's little buttons here that you can play the horn. You can play the full horns over here? Let's hear. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Ooh. Oh, that's a fog horn. Mickey's talking to you, buddy. Did you hear that? I, don't know, I think when I walked over it, like, say hello. Say hello, Mickey. Hello, Mickey. I don't know. I think it's just occasionally Mickey starts talking to you. Oh, okay. Oh, there's like a little maze on the wall where you can move the ships around. Or is it hard to move them around? Oh, they're very just difficult to move. <laughs> no. I know, buddy. They're not really easy to move. Oh, but they do have all of the castles on this one. Heading into the section that's the Walt Disney Imagineering Lab. We got some speed stack cups. Cinderella Castle model. And there's more of those hand washing stations. Ooh. Okay, look at this. They've got some examples of maquettes. Oh, this effect. This is on figment. So like, you see the butterflies there. And then as you go past it, the butterfly disappears. And on figment, the little perch is swinging back and forth. We've got Remy up here. And the maquette for his ride vehicle. Ah, little fingers. I think that they could probably control these because they look to be pneumatic, like little hands. Uh, this is a Tron light cycle, or light speed, what is it called? A Tron light cycle? A green alien? Look, there's a partner statue. Oh, some of the gems from the Seven Dwarfs. That's the bird from Pirates of the Caribbean. It's the Barker bird that's in California. We have a figment model. Globe? Wow. All kinds of stuff in here. Oh, look. It looks like maybe you get to build some stuff. We got nuts and bolts. Oh, these are all attached. You can't take them off? Okay, just kidding. You don't get to build anything. This is just for display, buddy. Those are like if you were going to build stuff. Doug and Stacy. Geralt and Jake. Geralt and Jake. Dumbo? Stormtrooper helmet, spaceship Earth down here, and some gumballs. A painting of Main Street, looks like. Oh, I don't recognize this. We got Lightning McQueen down here. An LED mini spotlight. This is uh, a spider bot right there. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy ride vehicle. There's a Mickey. Some different books. Some more hard hats. What else we got over here? Oh, a 3D printer where they printed out Mickey Mouse. So there's a door that's closing to the Mickey and Minnie area. And that's what that loud beeping is. Why is it closing? Because that place was a shorter amount of time for the open house. So that's now closed. But Jackson's doing these magnetiles. You like them, buddy? You're making a whole castle. So I think the interesting thing was I was most excited for Mickey and Minnie's Captain's Deck because it was specifically the only area that has ever been made for anybody Jackson's age, which is ages six months to three years old. But I think that it was a little bit young for him, even. 
So like the slide was very small compared to what he's used to sliding on. There was other stuff in there to do and I feel like in an open house it might not be as like exciting because it's not facilitated. Maybe they have like specific things that they can do, activations or like activities that they do with the kids in there. I'm not sure, but during the open house and just like kind of seeing what they had in there, a little bit underwhelmed in it. Did also want to mention that over in that ride studio where Jackson was riding that uh, Big Thunder Mountain game, it's called the ride studio and the kids can make their own roller coasters and then run them on the projectors. The actual like vehicles in the ground don't move around or shake or anything, but they can ride, like see them as if they are visually in the ride. That's pretty neat, one that they made. So they just finished the open house for this side. I'm gonna see if I can just do a quick pan through through Fairytale Hall in here just to have a look around because there's nobody in here. You got Bell's Library. Oh, there's some fiber optics in the ceiling. A little like area in Arendelle over here where you can draw and color. There's an interactive TV over here, Frozen Fun. And then this is uh, Tangled right here, like an artist studio. So there's another area over here called Star Wars Cargo Bay, and that's closed right now because the open house is ending. So now we're headed over to the Marvel section because that's still open. So we came into the Worlds of Marvel section of the Oceaneer Club because this has an open house right now. This mural is amazing looking. And then if we turn around, you can see we got Black Widow's outfit. Let's see what else we have. Oh, an outfit for you. Oh, I wonder if it like projects on there an outfit that you make, because it does have a Magic Band tap point here. Oh, Captain America. Steve Rogers, I guess I should say. And this is another one where you get to design your own superhero outfit. And then there's all these sections. I guess this is where you design it, over here, and then you can put it on a character over there. Of course, everybody's waiting to meet Spider-Man over here. They got all this PIM technology. We're gonna see these, not tonight, I think we're at 1923 tonight for Pirate Night, but we will be seeing the Worlds of Marvel restaurant soon. Look at, they made a gigantic highlighter with pim particles. Oh, World's Greatest Grandma. Crazy Ant and Fire Ant Farms. Well, these things are bad news. You gotta watch out for those. We have everybody's lockers here. We got Scott Lang, we got Hope Van Dyne, we got Pepper Potts. Okay, so she, she's Stark Industries, Pym Technologies, Pym Technologies. One of the cast members was describing there's a Taskmaster thing here, and they said that it's kind of like an escape room that the kids have to do. That sounds cool. And then we got Peter Parker. Why is he? Okay, I guess this is a top secret area because we don't. Well, I guess now we know that it's Peter Parker, right? Oh wait, did we go back and? Oh geez, Multiverse of Madness. What's the timeline? What is the timeline is? here? Yeah. So I guess after the kids design their own outfits, they load it on here and it shows up on their mannequin here, and then they bring it over here, and they tap it into this, and you can see it's like an Xbox Connect up there on top of the TV or some form of that technology. And it's a game that they play. And in the game, their character is wearing the outfit that they created, which is very cool. Also, this is a neat looking room with like the Avengers logo and everything on the wall. There's Spider-Man. A few other things around here. We got the necklace from Black Panther. We got Shuri's blasters, like her hand blasters, the things that go on her hands and like shoot the little blasties out. Looks like something for doing some work on something very small. I'm sorry, so you're telling me this entire time that we've been on this cruise ship, they have eight gigantic pieces of vibranium just kind of sitting here, the world's most expensive element sitting right here. This is the thing that billionaires are made of. I think just got it sitting right here behind glass. What? in the kids area. Spider-Man, how's it going? So far, so good. Nice. Well, what do you think about the lab? I think it's amazing. I was blown away by the amount of vibranium that you guys have in here. Have you figured out how to work that stuff yet? No, not yet. I want to upgrade on my suit because that's something really cool. Right? How about any tin particles? No, we haven't tried any of that yet. The last day, I think we have to... No, it's super complex. Hey, buddy. Jackson, did you say hello to Spider-Man? Say hi. Oh, nervous. I just swing around a little bit. Yeah, yeah he's a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That's right, bud. Nice. Nice. Boy, do you want to get some web shooters out? We can take a picture. Yeah, let's do it. Have you done that before? Can you show him your hand? Show your hand, yeah. And then you're going to tuck in these two fingers right here, ready? And then you should wear them like this. Yeah. And then you're going to tuck it in like this. Like this. Pew, 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 pew. All right. Jackson was doing his excited Thank run. You. What's your excited run, Jackson? <laughs> 
Spider-Man! Yeah, looking good. That's the superhero pose you were supposed to do. <laughs> All of the princesses are out and about for a special princess gathering. And this is something that you have to sign up for in the app and make a reservation for. This isn't available for everybody. We're having a little bit of trouble doing it in our app, so we're gonna go talk up to guest services and see if we can figure out how to do it correctly. Looks like we have docked in Nassau. I know this window is kind of a little bit dirty. There it is, Nassau. They are rebuilding this entire port, so a little bit of construction happening out there. A little bit better view of Nassau here. If you guys are interested in Nassau, our friend Donzel from the YouTube channel DZ Vision actually lives on this island. And he does all kinds of videos about various attractions and things happening around the island. Did also want to mention that there are all kinds of seats everywhere around the ship. And you guys know I'm a sucker for USBs. There are a lot of USBs around this ship. There's like tons of them everywhere for you to be able to charge your phone or your devices. All in these public areas too. All right, after meeting Spider-Man, time to go get a little bit more breakfast. We had some in the room this morning, but we're headed over to Marceline Market. Get some more breakfast. We've got 50, no, we've got an hour. Okay, good. We just had something kind of interesting happening on the way into Marsley Market. We went to go wash our hands like we showed you guys yesterday. There's a bunch of hand washing stations on your way in that everybody in the, in the ship that's coming in is supposed to wash their hands. The little one for Jackson, he went over to it, got soap on his hands, and he stuck his hands underneath the water. It was too hot for him. So I talked to some of the cast members. They said that it's set to a specific temperature between 100 and 110 degrees. That's the best way to clean your hands. Like it's the most, the, the, the best temperature based on USDA practices, I think, like Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Um, and so he just couldn't handle it. So they do have sanitizing wipes that they can give you though. So let's get some breakfast now. So I came to the second booth here. We've got, oh, oh egg fried rice down here. This is in a place called Signature Choices. Ginger chicken kanji. Okay. Toasted cashew nuts, various toppings for things. And then this looks like typical breakfast items here. We got scrambled eggs and corned beef hash, roasted red potatoes, some mushrooms back there, sauteed mushrooms, grilled tomatoes, some fried hash brown, bacon and sausage. And then it looks like they've got some pancakes going back there and some waffles back there as well. Oh, there's a recipe for ratatouille in here, a tiny spoon for Remy and Remy's so first chef hat. Oh, okay, I guess over here at the kids' counters where they've got the waffles and pancakes and the various toppings for those. Oh, and cream of wheat down here too. And they've got oatmeal and dry cereals, barbecue sauce, honey mustard, ketchup, I mean regular mustard. We have various toppings here, dried fruits and nuts. And then we've got some yogurt, and then milk, and then butter, and whipped butter, I think. Oh, that's cream cheese down there. Oh, and then we've got toast and bagels, and English muffins. Oh, and then they've got peanut butter, and Af apricot jam, and strawberry jam that you can have on it, too. And it looks like we've got like a bakery section over here, with various charcuterie items, sliced meats and cheeses, smoked salmon, uh, Gravlax, I don't know what that is. It's served under cook. Okay. Sliced peppered salami. We got sliced ham down here. Sliced tomato and cucumber. Red onion and cream cheese capers. Okay, so this is all for making your uh, like bagels and lox. Oh, and then we've got overnight oats. Mango mountain cake. Morning snowfall. And then some uh, parfaits down here. Assorted danishes and pastries. Got some sticky buns, some some chocolate chip marsh chocolate chip muffins. I don't know what kind of muffins those are on top. And we've got donuts over here and chocolate croissants and then regular croissants further over here. Oh, you can get plant-based egg scrambles at this lax section. This is the fresh fair section. And it looks like we've got more of the sausage and bacon. Oh, and the ham and cheese croissants. Yes. And then fried eggs. Like over easy, I think. Baked ham and cheese croissant, express breakfast, and then made to order omelets. All right, they cleared us to go ashore, so everybody is heading off onto the island. Kind of a neat perspective. We're inside of Marceline Market right now, looking down. Here's what I got I got a, an omelet that was all meats, I got sausage, bacon, and ham in it. And then I got 
a Mickey waffle. I got a chocolate chip pancake, some hash browns, some sausage, some bacon. And then this is a croissant with ham and cheese in it. And these are delicious. And they're bigger than the ones on the other ships. Right? Oh, that egg looks like an orange. And I got you one of these. Did you get one? I got one, yeah, but oh, I'll eat it still. Okay. All right. I think this is the only counter that I didn't get to see as I was walking through. So we got some hot smoked salmon, gravel axe, and smoked trout. This is the same stuff that we've seen before, though. Smoked cheddar flan. Sausage cheddar flan. Amazing. Oh, and there's some eggs benedict too. Now that we are done with our second, really second breakfast, because we had that little continental breakfast in the room earlier, now we're headed up to the Hero Zone, where they have an inflatable obstacle course. Very excited to see that, because it says all ages. So I think Jackson and me are gonna do some running around in there. All right, so we ran into some folks in the elevator that kind of explained the Hero Zone a little bit more to us. You need socks, number one. And then, yes, it is on deck 13, but uh, I'm not sure if you can get to it this on deck 13. 13. Like we rode the elevator, 13. we're on deck 13 right now. We're, they're gonna run back to the room and get some socks. And I'm gonna run out here and see if I can figure out if you can get in from up here, or if you have to go back down to Marceline Market and go up those weird lighted stairs that I showed you guys on the very first day. So I'll run around here, you guys go get socks, and I'll meet you Marceline Market. Okay. All right. Okay, so what is this door though? Let's see. Where does this lead? I don't know what this is. Is this the bathrooms or oh, this is a toilet? Okay. They're setting off the alarm right now. This is the Aqua Mouse, and we're trying to get to the Hero Zone, which I think is in there past the Aqua Mouse. I'm gonna go around the other side. The Aqua Mouse says it's only a five minute wait, but it looks like it's kind of a long line right now. Oh, there is a pool down there. There's a pool underneath the stage. That's interesting. Look at that. I didn't think there was a pool there, but there is. So there's a bunch of, there's not one large pool, there's a bunch of little pools here. So I don't know what the name of that pool is. I'm guessing the stage pool. And then there's like Mickey's pool and Daisy's pool and Donald's pool and Goofy's pool and Pluto's pool all down here. Can't wait to ride the Aqua Mouse. We might do that today, we might do it tomorrow. Who knows? But yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So right now I'm in the adults only section of the pool and this is where you can find the Cove Cafe and the Cove Bar. So yeah, it looks like you can't get to the Hero Zone from up here. Oh, there's a carnival ship right next to us. You have to go down into Marceline Market. Oh wow, look, the Aqua Mouse is like right here. This would be a neat spot. So maybe I'll have Jen, whoa, yeah, maybe I'll have Jen watch from right here when I go down it. Yeah, just inside these windows right here is the Hero Zone. That's where the inflatable obstacle course is. We're on the aft of the ship and we're headed, this is the adults only section and we're headed back to the Cove Bar. So here's another interesting fact is that all of the other ships, the adult section is in between. Like you have to go through the adult section to get to other parts of the ship. But it seems like this one, you can't go through the adult section. Like there's nothing else that you can get to other than adult areas. Oh, and this is the adults only pool. It's called the Quiet Cove Pool. And this is interesting because it has a glass front where you can look out the aft of the ship, like the back end of the ship. So you can have this view while you're hanging out in the pool. It's pretty neat. And the way that it's supposed to look is if you're at the water's level, it's supposed to be like an infinity pool. Oh, it looks like the Cove Bar itself is not open right now. And then we're headed over here to the Cove Cafe. This is the coffee shop. And this is kind of hard to get to. This is... I think the only way you can get to it is by walking the entire way around through the adult section. Because yeah, the Aqua Mouse is over there. And you can't get through that way. Let's see what the Cove Cafe looks like. The Cove, yeah, Cove Cafe. Oh, I like this. It's kind of like Polynesian Moana themed inside of here. You got Maui's hook, you got a manta ray, you got a paddle, some Moana art. And then of course, full bar and coffee bar back here. And I'm just kind of trying to look at, there's a few people in here, so just kind of get an idea of the theming as we pan around. Kind of like a Polynesian theme, I like it. It's cool looking. Well, this is cool. There's just a, a pool out here that's just for you to sit here and have your feet in. And then the water just kind of like flows down your back and sits on your butt. 
seems like it'd be a nice, cool place to relax and have a drink and probably like get some sun. And then there's one more deck up here, part of the adults only area. So we're up one level right now, just some nice seating up here. Oh, and this is a smoking section over here in the adults only section. Nice cushy seats too. Back down at Marceline Market, but I'm over on the, what am I on? I'm on the starboard side now. And we're going to try to find this doorway. So we found the entrance here in Marceline Market, this like lighted stairway that leads up to deck 12, which is where the hero zone is. It wasn't on 13, it was on 12. Uh, so I'm wondering if this is the only way into it. We'll find out by going up the stairs, but also Paulo and Enchante are up here. The Rose, I think, is a bar up here. Okay, this is where Vibe is. And then we're headed, I think, in this direction to the Hero Zone. But where's Paulo and everything? I don't understand. The stairs, oh, is it that way? Oh, and you can take the elevators up to 12. And then I believe in here is Paulo and Enchante. Can I open this door? Let's see. Oh no, I feel like I'm in a fancy town. Yeah, okay. Oh look, Cogsworth. All right, this is the Rose, which I think should be the bar that's in between. Wow, is this attached? It is attached. Okay, I thought maybe it was like a prop for you to take a photo with. Look at this. This is really neat. Like, and it's very picturesque too. This is nice. Wow. Okay, yeah, there's Paulo down there. So Enchante is available back here and this is, uh, they're not open right now, so I could go in there, but we have brunch in there on our day at sea. So we will come back and actually experience Enchante. But right now, Paulo is like, they're offering brunch right now. So I'm not gonna go in there and disturb anybody's brunch, but you can kind of see into there and see it. These are the two extra charge restaurants, like dress code style restaurants. Oh, check this out. All these rose petals on the back back there. And they have them all over the bar top. Lots of fancy drinks back there too. Oh, look at this gigantic bottle of champagne. Yeah. All right, time for the hero zone. I think Jen and Jackson are already in line. All right, we're gonna do the obstacle course, Jackson and I. I'm excited to give it a try. Oh, and they also have like basketball hoops up here. Yes. And it sounds like ping pong over here. Kind of a fun little area. Okay, a little bit of a complaint here. In the, so this is called the Incredic Horse, right? The, on the app, this is in the Hero Zone. And so the Hero Zone is listed as all ages. But the Incredic Horse, this inflatable in the Hero Zone, is 40 inches. So, we're gonna have to check Jackson's height and see if he's grown the last quarter of an inch. What do you think, buddy? Do you think you've grown a quarter of an inch? Yeah? All right, we'll check you. Let's see. Oh, Jackson. Not on your toes. Oh, you're so close, look at that. Buddy, I'm sorry. We're too short to go on the Incredit course. We can't go in there, buddy, I'm sorry. You're just a little bit too short. Okay, so there's Tim. We're gonna we're gonna watch. Oh, he's going, Dad. He's going. Look at him. Look at him. Whoa, he's running. Whoa, look at Daddy. Oh, of course they're doing the alarm right now. And to all crew, on behalf of Captain Andy, thank you for another successful drill. You have to stand Oh, did he go? He made it. Oh. I was trying to run around. All right, so that little short obstacle course was entirely more tiring than I thought it was gonna be. Also, hurt my knees, because as you guys know, I got my banana knee, and my other knee is since bad because of the banana incident. So, uh, just be prepared if you're an old man like me, it does take a little bit of effort to get through it. The thing that caught me up was the rings, these little black rings. The ones kind of back there, they threw me off. It was like a spiral. I thought I could get through that kind of quick, but it like, it catches your legs because they're none of them are attached. So you kind of get like stuck in there. And then by that point, the kid was way past me. I felt like we made it through this section kind of like together. And then after the spiral, he's like, I'm done. Look at this guy. He's actually pretty good. Oh, he's cheating. <laughs> 
He's giving you a point. Whoa, buddy, Whoa. good job. You're doing good, hit it back. Can you reach it? You need me to help you? You're doing so good, buddy. Good in air hockey. <laughs> Are you gonna try to serve it to daddy? Uh-oh. So I didn't realize it, but I told him he could play basketball because we saw these basketballs in the bin. But this is actually the basketball court where the inflatable horse is. So we can't play basketball right now. All right, let's go to a Disney Cruise Line food festival. After I made it through my obstacle course, I deserve an ice cream. We're doing burritos. Um, please, yeah. Can you do a little bit more? Just a little more. Thank you. Yeah. No meat, no meat. Thank you. It's gonna be good. So what did you think of your burrito? Just pulling off this french fry for Jackson. They're too hot. But I, I really like my burrito. Yeah? Yeah, it was good. I got the poblano spicy rice. I got the fajita veggies. I got both beans and all the all the salsa toppings. It was really good. And they have the whole salsa bar. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so I was able to make it even spicier. We have a salsa bar. I thought this it was really good. I, I really enjoy the food on this cruise ship a lot. Yeah. Like the it's been good. The quick service is great. It's amazing. Yeah. So I'm very happy. I'm gonna go get a, an extra paid dessert. Oh, so they do have desserts in the sweet shop that are an additional charge. But they look really delicious. I'm gonna go check them out and see if there's something that I want. I'm excited to see what you pick out. Inside Out Joyful Sweets is just before Marceline Market and it just opened at noon and nobody's in here yet. Look at that. So now we can get a good view of everything. I like it. It's cool looking. It's a lot bigger than some of the other places. I don't think this belongs here, but it kind of does match though. Doesn't it? It's like camouflaged in. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, macarons. Captain Mickey, Captain Minnie cupcake. Oh, and then we've got Disgust pistachio cupcake, an Anger Red Velvet cupcake, Sadness Blueberry cupcake, Fear Bubblegum cupcake. I do have a fear of bubblegum cupcakes. Nautical Navy Vanilla. Where's Joy? Am I missing out on this one? Shouldn't, shouldn't this last one be Joy? Milk chocolate dipped strawberries. Red velvet brownie? Oh my goodness. Carrot cake brownie, that looks awesome. Blueberry popsicle? Lemon mango popsicle? Let's see what else we have. Oh, they have assorted macarons. There's some chocolate dipped marshmallows over here. Fear chocolate sphere. A joy chocolate sphere. Anger chocolate sphere. Disgust Oreo cookie. Sadness Oreo cookie. Now we've got all kinds of toppings over here for our gelato. Ooh, okay. So this one's ice cream over here, ice cream and sorbet. Lots of different flavors in here. I'm trying, oh, no sugar added vanilla. Cookie dough dynamo, I love that. Oh, a plant-based chocolate ice cream in there. And plant-based vanilla too. Interesting. Midnight cookies and cream, wow, some of these sound really good. Mint chocolate chip, we had mint chocolate chip last night and it tasted so good. So these are all gelato over here and these look very good too. Unicorn gelato, ooh. Peanut butter and snicker gelato. So they told me, joyful sweets. So this is something you turn here and it comes out and then you buy it and it's got some candy in it. Thank you very much. They got some candy in it. Oh, it's got a candy maze in it. Mini Jawbreaker Candy in a Maze Puzzle Game. And you get in each memory sphere contains a random assorted character inside. Interesting, one limited chaser. Oh, okay, so that's what it is. This is the limited chaser right here, the mystery. Wow, okay, I didn't realize that it was like a mini jawbreaker. I think that this bing bong right here is the collectible bowl that you can get your ice cream in. There it is, yeah, this is the bowl. It's a bing bong themed bowl. That's neat. I was hoping that they were gonna have some sort of like cookie there, but I just got more ice cream instead. So Jackson just took his nap and mommy also took a nap with Jackson, but now we're headed down to the splash pad. He finally wanted to go to the splash pad. So that's where we're going right now. And I don't know if you can hear the pirate music, but it is pirate night. So we're at the Toy Story Splash Zone. It's really cute. Obviously all themed to Toy Story. It's adorable. 
they kind of look like those Weeble Wobbles. There is the bigger slide, which Jackson was really excited about because it's, it's a little longer and a little steeper than Mr. Ray's slide. There's Bullseye. And you just come up right over here. I want to show you Jackson going down. He loved it. All right, buddy. They have this little board where you can move the characters. What's Buzz doing? Whoa! Yeah, go on the other slide. All right, buddy. Coming down the big slide. Yeah. <laughs> I like that bump at the bottom, buddy. That was a Star Wars one. I haven't heard a Star Wars one before. Right? It sounded like Star Wars. So. The Carnival Liberty is leaving. I was trying to open the door so you could hear it because they did our our horn. I was trying to open the door so you could hear it. But look at this. The seal on the door came off. So I can't open the door. So I'll have to ask them to fix that. Because I, I literally can't open this door any more than this right now. So it's about halfway. All right, that's a bummer. Now it is dinner time. It is pirate night. So we're trying to be kind of like piratey. Yeah. I've got my little like Smee bound on. Um, <laughs> I think I'm more of like a barmaid. Oh yeah, barmaid. Yeah. And then um, Jackson is an actual pirate. Jackson has an actual pirate outfit he on. looks legit. We're going to 1923 tonight. Yeah. Gonna get some pirate fare. But we're gonna have the actual 1923 dinner um, Tomorrow two night. nights from tonight. Two nights, okay. Yeah, so we'll get to, we'll get to try the actual menu too. And the pirate menu. Ooh. But I was interested to see that this pirate menu is identical to the ones on the Fantasy and the Dream. Oh, okay. So we're, it's all the same, like the Asabusco and the, the Treasures of the Sea, the seafood one. So it's nothing new, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, there it is. Whoa! Looking good. You're the coolest pirate on the whole ship. I would say so. And then we just gotta put his little handkerchief on. We got some like live music kicking right now inside of the bayou. Whoa, look at that. down here to deck three and we're headed over to the Roy Disney side of 1923. Oh and there's like some spots where we can take photos look like pirates. Say we're out here in 1923 see? <laughs> Let's dress like pirates. See right, what's the style of the day? <laughs> I'm excited for I'm gonna try the so the last cruise that we went on and I'll link that whole series down below but on pirate night everybody got the Osobusco and I and it, it looked really good so I'm gonna try that tonight but they also have the treasure of the seas which is shrimp scallop and um, it's just like a like a seafood pasta and that yeah. was really good actually okay so I'm kind of torn you think I should try the Osobusco yeah. But they're calling it something different on this menu. The Chabal's Lamb Shank is what they're calling it now. Right, before they it was called the, the Osabusco. Yeah. I say you try it. I'm going to try the Privateer's Strip Loin. That sounds good too. It comes with um, cabbage, which oh, I thought oh. was interesting. And you get a Yorkshire pudding. 
Huh? Yeah. He's like a little British pirate. Right, because it is actually King George's roasted privateer. Oh, okay. They roasted a whole privateer. Oh, no. Are That's you eating good. people? No, it's, uh, yeah, it's people. <laughs> so, I think what I'm going to get is none of these appetizers actually sound very good to me at all. So, and I did this the last time, is I'm going to get the baby gem salad. The bread service is okay. It's a Johnny Cake with mango dip. I don't really like the dip so much. But and then Johnny Cakes are basically just cornbread, yeah. cornbread, yeah. We also have the Treasures of the Sea. The Caribbean Grouper. Jerk Chicken sounds pretty good, though. Fried Plantains. Well, maybe I'll try that. I don't know. With rice and peas, I'm not a big fan of that. The Lamb Shank sounds really good. Yeah, I'm going to get this trip loin. And they have some vegetarian stuff. Ooh, the Barbary Coast Falafel. Oh, yeah. I do like that they offer these lighter note things. Like, you can just get a steak. And it just comes with, like, steamed rice and yeah. broccoli. All right, let's try this Johnny Cake. It just smells so interesting. It's like a mango puree with um, pepper. Okay. Like red pepper and black pepper. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's very... It's not my favorite thing, but it is... I'm glad I tried it. The, the Johnny Cakes are good. And then Jackson's menu is another interesting one. Cream of chicken soup, fresh cut garden salad, beef sirloin, hot dog, but the hot dog comes with barbecue sauce and cheddar cheese. I thought that was interesting. So pirate Mini, Yeah. Mini cheeseburger, mozzarella and cheese pizza. Wait, it's a cheddar and mozzarella cheese pizza. That's interesting too. Uh, and then for dessert, they've got a brownie, ice cream bar, or a sugar ice cream section. That means Disney check meals too. Grilled chicken skewer or whole wheat pasta. Then there's just this like activity that they can do on the bottom, they can do some coloring, or they could wear this as a as a celebration of Pirates Night. So I wonder if the pirates are still gonna come through the dining room like they do. Yeah, on the there's other a pirate shows. right next to you. There is. <laughs> <laughs> so Jen got a zero-proof cocktail. This is called the Ink and Paint. This is fresh lemonade, butterfly pea tea, and strawberry, and it was five dollars and fifty cents. What do you? What is butterfly pea tea? It's like um, kind of like a sweet. Tea. Is it made from peas? Butterfly pea. It's like a flower. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's try it. Should I mix it up? It's really pretty. And do you mix it up? I don't know. Let's see. Let's try. Oh, you're mixing the ink and the paint. Yeah. Okay, let's see. It just tastes like strawberry lemonade. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's good, but like fresh strawberries, like muddled strawberries. Oh, okay. So this is actually pretty delicious. Brought Jackson's dinner out, and they're actually cutting it up for us right now. He got the, the sliced beef. It's like a little sliced steak. Yeah, it's nice. It looks really good, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so on Jackson's plate, there's a little Steamboat Willie. Even the kids' plates are themed to 1923. Look at that. That's awesome. And then Jackson's just playing with his little letter puzzle over here. He's pirating. He has pirates love to spell. Arr. Spelling what's, pirate. What's a, what's a pirate's favorite letter? Uh, you think it would be R, but really it's the C. Oh, you stole my joke. Oh, I thought you were <laughs> going to say it's R. Then Jackson's getting a little Mickey ketchup. Oh, Mickey on the Mickey. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, our appetizers came out. I got my baby gem salad. Jen got the shrimp and the beef carpaccio. So this is Angelica's Lime Marinade Shrimp with Chili, White Corn, Sweet Potato, and Onion. And then Jen also got the Swan's Red and Yellow Beef Root Carpaccio with asparagus, pickled radishes, cornichons, and mustard dressing. My baby gem is blue cheese, radish, cherry tomato, shallots, sweet pecans, and Thousand Island dressing. Three sambajis, vegetable samosas, with, with potato, pe peas, garlic, cumin, and ginger, served with tamarind and mint chutney. So this is King George's Roasted Privateer Strip Loin with thyme roasted potatoes, buttered savoy cabbage, Yorkshire pudding, and rosemary wine sauce. It looks really good. Yeah. Yum. I think you could use a little bit more of like the gravy, the wine sauce. Yeah, it's kind of a big puddle of it underneath oh, there. Oh, I didn't see that, yeah. <laughs> um, 
Okay, and then I got the, see on this menu it is called the Asabusco, but it's the center cut veal shank braised in red wine, served with crisp onions, buttered green beans, and a parsnip mash. Look at that bone. crisp onions. Oh yeah. That's okay. It looks really good though. Lynn's looks like the most picturesque, I think, but this is the Barbary Coast falafel with fine ground cumin chickpeas and spiced vegetables and a mint yogurt. It looks really good. Oh, look at this. I got the banana cake. It's called Bananas in Paradise? Bananas in Paradise. It's like banana bread with some hazelnut spread in between it and like a little a little pirate chip on it. A pirate, a little banana chip on the top. Somebody yelled that they had their pirate hat on behind me. <laughs> I got the macadamia nut cheesecake. There it is. It's got, um, I think, caramel on top. Yeah, it does caramel. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. And then a little, like, I think it's like a homemade whipped cream. Looks delicious. Lynn got the fruit cobbler. It looks better than I thought it would. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect. That bread on top is what is like looks really yeah. good to me. But they're like little shortbread cookies. It looks like. Yeah. Came out into the grand atrium and look at the chandelier is all red. I think for pirate night. Cause yarg. Earlier I was talking about how they have pre-planned and look at this. They like made it so a pole just like comes out of the ceiling. Oh, that's smart. And then they can hook their light up to it. Look at the beautiful sunset that we've got. So we are back on deck 11. We're going to go find our spot for the Mickey and Minnie's pirate party tonight. Wanted to give you one of my pro tips to the ship. If you're looking to eat lunch here at the Festival of Foods, do not eat near Goofy's Grill because the heat from this flat top and the fryer and everything transfers out of there into this area underneath here. And they do have these little, these little uh, windows cracked open so it does create a little bit of a draft, but Still, it's very hot on this side of the ship, in this spot in particular. Starting to line up for the Pirate Night Party. The party that we're waiting for is Mickey and Minnie's Pirates in the Caribbean. Check this out though, there's a drum set up here. There's gonna be a live band.
the play. Oh, no! I cream! In the unlikely event that your crew succeeds... Wait, the ship back! Then I say... Let the captain's challenge officially You can do it, Colonel. I know you can. This must be test this so-called pirate crew. When a captain gives you an order, or asks you a question, what do you say? Is the codfish? Oh, we're not doing that? With the codfish out of the way, it's time to continue celebrating your brilliant new world! <laughs> 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 we did it! You turned out to be a fine crew indeed! And congratulations on becoming part of Mini and Mickey's Pirate Crew! See you on our next adventure! <laughs> I didn't ever think about it, but there is a lift here that goes up this railing to get to the various pools up here. Actually, I don't know where it goes after that, because it, it, it can't go up that one. But there is something here. How does it work? What does it go to? I'm, I'm very confused about it. There's also a pool here. That's probably the pool that you were able to use. This is Minnie's pool underneath here. Underneath the stage is Mickey's pool. This is Daisy's pool right here. And then Donald's pool is one more level up over there and they have that one covered up right now, which they can cover a lot of them. I don't know if they can cover this one because they don't have it covered right now. Well, what's, what's That's Donald's pool. Oh, okay. And then on the starboard side, they've got Pluto's pool and then Goofy's pool is now covered up right here. So by comparison on this ship on this deck there are six pools as opposed to the one single pool on the other ship. And I feel like there's more square footage of water too. So I think you're better off with the pool situation. All right we've got our space for the pirate parlay party and this is a new pirate show and I'm excited to see it. It's gonna be a live band. This is the first time I've ever seen a band, like a live band warming up in front of the crowd at a Disney event. It's interesting. They had to do the sound check and everything though. It makes sense. There's about seven minutes until the show starts before the fireworks. Still kind of a lot of empty space down there because I think most people realize that their view of the fireworks will be blocked by the Aquamouse if they're down there. Even though that'll be a better view of the show, not a better view of the fireworks. So if you're coming out here to be on the wish, just know that down here is a bad spot to see the fireworks, but it'll be a great spot to see the show. It's time to put your hands and hooks together for the most rocking pirates around.
Find the rum. I rum! Pirates! No, I said you had sparkling treasure, and sparkling treasure you have. Luxley! Go, Mickey. Keep on! So on the last cruise that we were on, after the Pirates fireworks night, you would come to Cabanas on the Need, and we were on the Fantasy, and they had food set up, like a pirate feast. It's not looking like that's happening tonight at Marceline Market. I'll go check the other side just to make sure, but I don't think so. Yep, not this side either. So, you're gonna go grab a slice of pizza. So, I challenge Disney to do more fireworks shows to live music, to a live band like that. That was phenomenal. Like, I was blown away by how well they were able to line up the music with the timing of the fireworks. Like, and the stage show and the performance, really, really good. I'm kind of feeling like Disney is putting more money into the cruise line and entertainment offerings on the cruise line. Am I, am I getting that right? Like, there's a lot going on on this ship. A lot of entertainment, a lot of characters around, a lot of interesting interactive elements and places to go and just I don't know I'm really enjoying myself on this cruise and like I'm so happy with the entertainment offerings so I don't know I think that it's going good so far all the shows that we've seen have been really good uh, all the character interactions that we've had have been really good it's just been a great great cruise so far I was walking around the ship kind of a lot today I've made it almost all the way around every space on the ship uh, there are some dead ends and it is a little bit confusing, but once you get the hang of it, you can make it around different places. And like, as long as you have an idea of where you're going, like I want to go here, you can make it there really easy. And once you know the ins and outs, like after day two, you're kind of like, I'm there. I know where I'm going now. So I don't know. I am enjoying the Disney wish tomorrow. We're at Castaway Key. I'm going to run the 5k. I think Ooh, I haven't run in a few days. So hopefully my knees hold up and my knees really kind of like hurt me when I did that obstacle course, but I don't know, we'll see how we do. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we're off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.